there guys, Coaster Channel here, Doncaster born, but built for theme parks, and today's theme park news update hails from Tivoli Gardens, uh, located in Copenhagen in Denmark, and because this is all about the closure of one of their big extreme flat rides, Vertigo has left the park, or is officially going to be leaving the park. Uh, so in this video, I'm going to speak about Tivoli's official statement on their website, by the way the website of the article uh, of this closure has been linked in the description down below so go and check it out for yourselves uh, we're going to talk about my thoughts on this and also share the site in question about possible replacements for the attraction uh, so before we get started guys please like the video if you're new around here subscribe if you're new around here click that case bell so you miss youtube video comment down below your thoughts and opinions on this also check the description down below for social media links and the google forms link where you can submit your own ideas for the channel and for now guys let's have a look at exactly what What's going on with the closure of Vertigo at Tivoli Gardens? So the official statement from Tivoli's website, again the link to that is in the description down below, reads as follows. Goodbye to Vertigo. After providing our guests with many unforgettable moments, it is time uh, for Vertigo for it to bid farewell. Now, fun facts, Vertigo flew with the first guest back in 2009. Vertigo twice won first prize as Europe's top attraction in 2014 and 2016. It was the only ride in the entire world that can operate in all three directions due to Tivoli's reconfigurating the slip ring system. Vertigo could run in 360 degree rotation clockwise and counterclockwise in turbo mode vertigo flew at the speed of up to 14.9 miles per hour or rate per minute uh, which is amount to speeds of 103.9 kilometers per hour uh, a Tivoli mechanic has done continuous 14 rides before he started to feel sick that is a record by the way and vertigo has a 5g impact three times the acceleration of gravity which feels if the body weighs five times as much as it normally does now obviously this amazing spectacular flat ride leaving the park is going to be you know a real shame to lose this flat ride but what's going to happen to the site well i'm going to share my thoughts on that right now so as you can see on your screen right now fan dabby dozy that is the site in question now of course you can see the flat ride site you can see i've circled in blue uh, the nearby kids coaster and you can see i've circled in red the lake area behind the flat ride now the reason why i've done that is because i've got some very very interesting predictions about what could be coming to Tivoli Gardens and I'm going to share those right now. So there we are ladies and gentlemen, thrill seeks of all ages, that is speaking about the closure of Vertigo at Tivoli Gardens. Now as you saw, I'm going to speak about my thoughts on this and then share uh, a bit more detail about why I've circled the lake in red, the nearby kids coaster in blue, as well as the yellow uh, site of Vertigo. Now, first of all my thoughts on this closure, it is of course a really sad closure uh, because it was one of those, it was one of those flat rides or one of those rides around the world that you sort of see in those, oh my god, most dangerous ride ever you know you must not do it kind of like the abc torbalons like cyborg cyberspin at six Flags great adventure you know the dangerous rides you know why should anyone do this kind of trending viral videos um and i think that overall i think overall this is an amazing um attraction from the look of it it's an amazing attraction it's an extreme flat ride it was perfect for the extreme thrill market now in terms of the reason why i think it's closing you know what, I can't put my finger on it. I'm not too sure if it's maintenance, I'm not too sure if it's uh, just moving on with the times, I'm not too sure if it's just come to the end of its lifespan. I don't know. Comment down below if you guys know what the reason is, but in my opinion, I can't put my finger on it. But now, look to head towards the future. Now, the reason why I circled the lake in red and the kids coaster in blue next to it is part of my, one of my predictions. Now, one of my predictions is just a like for like replacement, a flat ride replacement. Now, whether that be a Zampella Hawk, it's like a like for like attraction kind of thing, or maybe you go with something else. Maybe you go with, uh, I think one person put in the comment section of a different video about the news, a Zampella Giant Discovery, like a, a Frisbee ride or a Hus Frisbee or um, like an Intamin swing, like a, a Frisbee ride. And I wouldn't be against that, to be fair, because I think that will give the park a nice attraction. 
I mean, you look at Tigeran at the Joe Summerland. That's a, a great example of a gyro swing in Europe. And uh, low key at, at Liseberg in Sweden. I think that's another great example of an intermid gyro swing. So I think if they were going to go for some kind of frisbee ride to replace Vertigo, I think you'd be looking here at an intermid gyro swing based off the, you know, the prime target market of Europe in terms of the type of frisbee rides you go for. You go for the the intermid gyro swings. But another prediction that I've sort of put towards is and. Hear me out on this, a brand new roller coaster. Now, obviously, I don't mean 2022. I'm talking here probably 2023 or 2024. The reason why I've said new roller coaster is look at the sp space, excuse me, that you've got to work with behind Vertigo. Take Vertigo, relocate the kids' coaster somewhere else, retheme it or something, rename it or keep it as it is, but relocate the kids' coaster. You don't want to remove it because it's only a you know a few years old. So relocate the kids coaster then you've got the vertigo and the old kids coaster plot of land to work with and then the lake behind it you could create a wonderful coaster over that lake a wonderful coaster and i think tivoli could do a wonderful job with that layout i think they could do a wonderful job putting a nice layout over that front now i'm not talking a big old 20 million pound b and m i'm not talking that we're probably talking here between 5 and 15 million, 15 million maximum, I think, for the price tag for this coaster, if it was to be a new coaster. Um, so it immediately sort of puts some manufacturers out of the running, the likes of um, B&M, uh, RMC, apart from the single rails, but I don't think it'll be a single rail coaster if it is to be a coaster, so I will put RMC out of the running as well. Um, Intimate could still be in the running to some extent. Vacoma's definitely in the running for this. Gerslau could definitely be in the running for this. Um, SNS could definitely be in the running for this. Premier Rides could be in the running for this. So, uh, Zamperla, you never know. Zamperla might be in the running for this. And I feel like, you know, there's a couple of really good coaster options you could go for. I mean, look at Far Up Summerland in, Summerland in Denmark. They're investing in Phoenix next year, which is a Vacoma wildcat style coaster it's the the relocated project from the shelved plans for a theme park in bosnia and hernan goza uh, the magic land bosnia uh, park project that was sh that was shelved and cancelled uh, it's that coaster that's been moved up to far up summerland that's the the relocated project so i would like to see tivoli gardens go for a vacoma but a different kind of vacoma maybe you go with um, I, I don't know, maybe go with something like Abyssus that's opening up at Energy Land on the 14th of July, which I will go on more about in a separate news update today, so stay tuned for that. But I think there's a real potential to go with one of those next-gen Vacomas and really rival uh, Far Up Summerland in the market with the Vacoma coaster. So I think there's a real chance here. So that's where I'm sort of swaying if it's going to be a brand new coaster and especially since you've got the the lake behind to work with as well I think you could put some nice elements over that lake side but that's just one of my predictions realistically I think it'll be a flat ride like a giant discovery or some kind of different flat ride but I think there's a possibility they could go for a major project in the next few years so there we go guys thank you very very much my name is Coast Shell keep living the coast life like the video if you've loved it comment down below your thoughts and opinions subscribe if you're new around here cut the notification bell so you don't miss youtube video keep living the coast life and i'll see you guys in the next video very very soon take care guys have a vertigo tastic day r.i.p